and it's ramen time. I'm Mike on a bike. Today I'm pedaling across Manhattan to find that slurpy, steaming satisfaction found in the bowl of ramen. So we're at Ichiran. Classic ramen experience. They've got a lot of awards, a lot of trophies there. We'll see if they live up to the hype. Just yeah, person. just one. A little special okay. curtain, yeah. okay. You can see each booth is numbered. You're not allowed to talk to anyone. You're supposed to just experience the food here. What is the most popular ramen here? Well, we actually specialize in only one kind of ramen called tonkotsu. It's pork bone broth. There's an order sheet and you can customize every component of a ramen for yourself. You don't have a server that's kind of hovering. You have a call button and you're like, come, come when I call you <laughs> and then just leave me alone. Whoa, you got your pork on one side, your noodles, your onions, the spicy sauce, and, and the weapons to eat it with. But look at that. Hot. I'll give it a five on the slurp factor. They don't tell anyone how they make that dilop of red spice. It's known to only four people in the world. Here's a little pork in my belly. Pretty immersive experience. It's time to rock and roll. Heading down to Ivan Ramen. This guy went to Japan, studied their ramen secrets, and is now making a killing down in Manhattan's Lower East Side. Excited about this ramen spot. Bright colors, bright walls, and the food is supposed to have a bold taste. So, highly rated. We'll see when it comes. I would have to say the Shio is the one that he's known for. Okay. They call it a double soup. Half fish stock versus chicken broth. So it's a little bit more smoky, oceanic. That roasted tomato, we call it an umami bomb. Once you bite into it, tons of flavor. You get all four corners of the palate. They're really, really good stuff. There's the six minute egg there that Ivan has mastered after all the time of him learning. Six minute eggs. Six minute eggs, sir, sits in soy. Ramen round two, let's do there this. There you go. Thank you. Shio there. I got a little bit of that six minute egg. Mm. Gotta do the uh, umami bomb here. That umami bomb, oh, I love it. It's a more classic flavor and it goes down easy. Not quite as spicy as the last one. Oh, and here's the meat. A nice little slab right on top. Certainly warms you up, it's cold outside. The night's fallen, but the quest isn't over. We have one more spot, ramen ya. Hey, ha! Samurai edition. Anything less than samurai ain't good enough for me. Our owner's history, he, he was a champion of the kendo. Do you know kendo? Kendo? Yes. Really? So the owner was once a kendo champion. And then who's this guy? This is Musashi from the famous Japanese anime comic. It's pretty intimidating. I feel <laughs> like he likes ramen too, huh? Yeah. Signature dish is a shio black with pork soup. The black comes from the black garlic oil we make at the house. We have pork broth and chicken broth, and uh, we simmer them for like 10 hours. Wow, with 10 the, hours? Yes, bone and meat together. It makes it a super creamy broth. First big bite, get a bit of that seaweed. The noodles are a little thinner than the others. Ooh, and they're not quite as firm. And you gotta be a true pro <laughs> with the chopsticks. With the samurai looking over my shoulder, I feel like uh, a little pressure. A little pressure that I might get beheaded if I don't enjoy this. I love how thin the noodles are. And now I've got to try this raw. Oh, that is good. Look at that perfect little pork. After three bowls of ramen, it's time to call it a night. Now riding off into the night like a samurai warrior. Thanks for watching.